Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. We have three stories for you this week. The retiring acting FA administrator, well, found a new job. We'll talk about that. Uh, Delta Hawk DHK 180. That's a new engine that got FA certification. And then lastly, we'll talk about Garmin getting an STC approval for the GFC 600 in the Piper neighborhood Chifton. Let's get to it. All right, your first story this week. You'll be happy to hear that the acting FA administrator who is on his way out uh, seems to have secured a new job. A uh, news reporter from Reuters uh, mentioned that Billy Nolan uh, will be joining Archer Aviation after departing the FA. Uh, Archer's is a EV tall company uh, with its uh, multi-copter in ground test right now and then expected to fly in the next few weeks. Uh, the company has received investment from United Airlines and then also a car manufacturer, I think, called Stellantis. And then they plan to build a factory in, in uh, Georgia, in Covington, Georgia, next year. Uh, the plan is to build 2,300 uh, aircraft each year. Uh, the aircraft is called a Midnight, and they'll, it uh, carries four passengers and then a pilot on top of it, and it's designed to fly about 20 to 50 miles. Uh, Nolan has been the interim administrator for more than a year now after the previous administrator, Steve Dixon, uh, quit in 2022. Uh, we're expecting that the current FAA chief of staff, Katie Thompson, is going to become the interim FAA administrator after Nolan lives, unless they can find somebody else in the meantime. Your second story this week is the Delta Hawk D180 uh, that received FA certification. Now you might be wondering what the heck is a D180? Uh, it's a 180 horsepower four cylinder fuel injected piston engine. Uh, the engine is capable of actually burning jet A and then uh, using any other sustainable aviation fuels. Uh, they said that the engine contains 40% fewer moving parts when compared to other engines in the same category, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, engines are expensive, uh, and the expensive part is that they break down because there's a lot of moving parts. And so having fewer moving parts, I think, is a cool design, and we'll keep you updated uh, if we see any new aircraft that come up with this engine. And your final story this week is Garmin has announced a supplemental type certificate, STC, uh, for installing the GFC 600 autopilot inside of a Piper Navajo Chieftain. Uh, the GFC 600 will have a number of autopilot functions, including the vertical speed, uh, altitude hold, sorry, uh, heading hold, and then altitude pre-select, and then even more when it's paired with other Garmin products. Uh, another cool product coming out of Garmin uh, to assist pilots with navigation and then also the workload management. So that's pretty exciting. All right, that's it. That's all we have for you. We'll see you next week.